Okay, good af good good morning guys. Good morning mga anak. How are you doing? I hope you have a great weekend. And kamusta naman ang mga klase nyo sa mga teachers nyo? I hope you're doing good with them and uh, complying with your deliverables naman po in your other subjects. Okay? Now, in our Computer 101 subject right now, okay, uh, since we are done with some uh, previous discussion, all we need to do now is for us to finish the remaining part of this, okay? As what you can see in my presentation, okay, I started already in components of a computer system, okay? Just to remind you guys that uh, when we have this discussion, okay, we get into the hardware, okay? So, I discussed to you what are these uh, components all about and how it is important, no? Part of it, no? Yung, yung piece by piece of it, okay? And then, afterwards, we actually get into the hardware. We're actually uh, the following uh, topics are discussed such as the input devices. I already shown you different input devices. I already shown you different uh, storage devices, processing device, as well as the output devices. Okay, so it's very, it's very overwhelming. No, na there are actually millions of uh, discovered devices. No, from from time to time. Okay, now after that, okay, we will be heading on the software side okay if you still remember the hardware is the tangible no this is actually made up of something you can lay on your hand and measure okay but of but of course this will be a nonsense thing if we will if if there is no software at all because the software is the intangible part of this hardware that will help this to work on no Ito yung nako-consider natin na operating system and other than that, yung mga applications program na nagagamitin natin. Okay? So, moving on the next, okay, since we are done in the hardware, okay, for a while, I'm gonna switch here. Okay? Ayan. So, as what you can see, okay, these are the, the devices, okay, that I actually introduced to you the last time, the different devices. Okay? So, we are done with this and I show you the picture so you will appreciate it more what it it looks like okay and briefly discuss some of its importance and use okay so ayan po ma'am okay and then i would like to give you the first asynchronous for this week okay where um i ask you to to give your own thoughts about this uh, image okay so let us wait okay the central processing unit okay Eto, ma'am. Okay? So, given this diagram right now, for your first uh, number one, item number one, asynchronous, okay, as I mentioned before, that I'm gonna ask you to to please give your own thoughts about here, no? As I always ask you, okay, when you do something, it's always uh, coming from your own ideas, understanding, okay? Now, given this processor as the brain of the, the computer, okay, and you have in here the processor, the control unit, okay, the arithmetic, you also have these input devices which you already acknowledge, no? The different input devices as well as the output devices and what is the memory doing with, with regards to the RAM, okay? The random access memory, okay? Plus, plus an additional uh, benefits here where you can see the storage devices, okay? So, with this diagram, okay, what do you think or how these things process, okay? We just uh, give your own example and then identify the, the uses and the function of each, okay, connected, okay, items on the diagram, okay? That will be the item number one, okay? So, thank you for that and then let us move on to the next Okay, so you acknowledge the hot sink. Okay, so there is the software which is considered the second components of a computer system. Okay, so it was defined here as the instruction that tell the computer what to do. No, as I gave you an example of this before. Okay, it is just like the the, the blood and the air inside our body that communicates to each part of it in order for it to function okay so with this software okay there are actually two classifications okay 
So this serve as the gasoline. And no? the first one is the system software. And then the second one is the application software. Okay? So the system software was actually defined here as a program which control and assist in the computer operation. Okay? Ito na yung example that it, it looks like a gasoline. Okay? That, that flows inside the, the machine. Okay, the car in order for each of it to work properly. Okay, siya yung magsusupply. Okay? Now, an example of this are the following. The operating system. Okay, we know naman that. Okay, when you when when you say operating system, we the first thing that come into our mind is the Windows. Okay? So Windows uh, operating system. Okay? There are also other operating system like in Apple, the Macintosh. Okay? There is also Linux. Okay? Just like also with your, your mobile. Okay? There is also the, the Android. Okay? The Android operating system. Okay? So other than, other than the operating system, they also consider the compilers or the interpreters, no? Programs. Okay? And then uh, utility programs. Okay? Then, the other classification of a software is the application software. Okay? So, sabi niya rito, it is actually defined as a program which provide a solution to a specific operations or application. Okay? So, these are the other programs or software that actually you are using in your gadget, in your machine. Okay? Example, yaan, when you are doing your assignment, you are actually using the Microsoft Word. Okay? In order for you to type because you need to have this electronic documentation. Otherwise, you are not able to encode or to type. Okay? So, in, in layman term, uh, it is just like a plain paper where you can actually write. Okay? You are just using the keyboard which serve as your pen and then the paper is the electronic documentation in form of Microsoft Word. Okay. Yun po yun, ma'am. Okay. Next. Uh, there are actually two types of application program. Okay. The first one is the customized software and then the second one is the package software. Okay. So, how are we going to differentiate this? Okay. Uh, it is as simple as sabi niya, Stated here, customized software created according to the specific requirement or specification of the company. So, for example, our school, okay, since it was pandemic and it 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 has a new a new way of a business process, no, that uh, students are not able or not allowed to go to the school in order for them to enroll. So, why not to acquire? can program or a can software that will assist the school in enrolling the student okay so uh, the the school will will buy the the enrollment system excuse me and then it will be used so things will be easy to do okay such as enrolling okay selection of subject okay identifying the tuition fee the time the schedule or even the rooms and and the teachers okay so union mom or for example sami has his um company and uh fortunately uh he has a uh, number of employees so oh, nyare 100 employees kasi ano na siya eh, uh, professional na siya broker na siya okay so in order to cater okay the the salary of this instead of okay uh doing it manual then he will acquire a payroll system okay to make things easy in computing and doing the salary of his people okay so bibili na lang siya noon okay so if we will compare this in a mall there are available short short jogging pants shoes around all you need to do is just go around uh choose whatever you want to buy okay that that uh fit your your needs okay the size the quality the price okay and then you will be, you will be purchasing it okay and then you will wear it okay kaya lang kasi yun nga yung available na siya sa market but of course the constraint it it will not uh totally or 100% fit your needs okay kasi parang naka-generic lang siya naka-general general way lang siya no okay kaya sometimes if you're going to have uh, a shirt sa bench, okay, and unfortunately, when you go around, okay, there are times na meron kang kamukha katulad, parehas tayo, okay? Unlike, unlike the other type of the application program, okay, uh, I'm sorry, 
uh, yung pala yung package. Okay, yung sa customize, you're gonna ask them to do it on 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 uh, your own. Okay, yung yung needs mo. Okay, yung customize, you're gonna ask them to uh, you're gonna ask them to you're gonna ask them to set up the way you want it okay so what i'm i'm sorry for that uh the can program is what i'm discussing okay yung yung existing or available na and what you need to do is just purchase it okay uh that is more cheaper okay yung customize you, you will going to acquire mam obon to design your system according to your needs okay so that's actually fit fitted on 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 in uh, every aspect dun sa payroll system ni Sami. Okay, for example, can you please establish the tax, the the other deductions, the lates, okay, and then the the leaves, okay, yung mga sick leave and vacation leave. Okay, so ito yung nakatailored para kang nagpapatahi ng sarili mong damit na ikaw lang ang meron. Okay, specialized lang dun sa needs mo. Yung can programs, those are actually yung available na, yung parang mga mga damit sa mall na bibilhin mo na lang. But of course, okay, hindi siya hindi siya mag mag 100% fit dun talaga sa gusto mo. Meron nat merong a little portion of it that that is not uh, useful to you or uh, missing. Okay, so yung yun yung concern. Now, the same with the devices, there are many programs around, okay? So, prior to you, there are plenty of uh, programs available in the world, just like the devices. Because oh, uh, all along, I know you you are actually uh, overwhelmed with those devices I, sh I showed you dun sa previous discussion natin, okay? So, sabi niya, it stated here, there are so many application programs and it was categorized or uh, yeah, categorized on the following. Okay, there are word processor, spreadsheet, databases, desktop publishing, graphics program, merong net network programs. Okay, marami yan, mami. Okay, now, yung, yung mga nakalagay dito, okay, they're calling it generic name. Okay, like for example, sa generic name, Ma'am Anna has a fever. Okay, she need to drink uh, generic uh, medicine. Okay. In, in in name of paracetamol. Okay. So, ayan yun. So, si word processor, para siyang paracetamol. But within paracetamol, there are such name like Biogesic, Advil, Tempra. Okay. So, you have those medicine. Okay. Yung, 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 yung actual name ng medicine, no? Uh, na na naiinom mo because you have fever. So it's the same with this. Okay, they actually uh, organize and categorize it according to this. Okay? For example, word processor. I know the first thing that come into your mind is the Microsoft Word. Okay? Kasi ma'am, when you say word processor, this is a program where you can actually encode, type, do the activities or they're calling it electronic documentation program. Okay? Now, with this, okay? What you need is just like a plain paper where you can actually encode. Okay, so, okay, prior to the MS Word, there are Word Perfect, Ami Pro, Word Star, okay, tapos yung mga ginagamit nyo po sa Android, um, ano ba yung WPS, ako, I have my, my document, my word processor uh, program dun sa Android ko, uh, WPS, I think that's the free over the Android that uh, downloaded to my Samsung. Okay, so I can view, I can download and open any document uh, in my mobile coming from from the messenger, coming from the email, okay, o kaya yung mga PDF files, okay, nag-open siya rin, ma'am. Okay, but there are more out of these uh, examples I actually gave you, okay. Ako, when I was a student, I encountered the word star, prior to the MS Word. Okay, the Word Star is actually the the DOS the DOS type kasi we don't have that time uh, uh, Windows operating system eh, when I was a student. Okay, so we have the Word Star. It's a uh, a black and white type. Tapos you will encode and then the the command is not like the copy and paste. Okay, we have to press the control KK, control KB, control KC. Okay, mga ganon. Okay, with the Word Star. Okay, now, if you have the needs of doing the calculation, numeric, okay, the spreadsheet is almost doing 80% as the word processor where it is actually an electronic documentation file 
okay, plus, plus the fact that this application program has the ability to compute. Ayan. Siyempre, when you say compute, you already experience Microsoft Excel. It's just like the accounting ledger, no? There are so many columns, there are so many rows, plus it was integrated with this built-in formulas, okay, that you can actually use, okay? And with that, Things can be easy on the part of the accountant, on the part of a student, uh, a finance student. Okay, so yun yun, ma'am. Okay, so the only thing that you have in there are, are the numeric part where there is a computation that is made. Okay, where Microsoft Word or the word processor is not able to do. Okay, so ayan, ma'am. Now, in terms of collation naman of your information, no, parang Google form, ano? Okay, so yun ba? Uh, they can actually set up field names and then you can have your names, contact numbers, okay, uh, you have your email address, your, uh, your your physical address, home home address, and other things, okay, that other company is using in holding your information such as the bank, the schools, the governments, okay, ayan. Basta uh, it, it actually talks record. Okay, it actually talks record. Then, then that is all about that is all about uh, databases. Okay, databases. Okay. Uh, other than that, you also have this desktop publishing uh, programs. Okay, so desktop publishing programs. These are. Uh, 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 nice uh, programs that are able to do such magazine, newspaper, the calling cards, invitations, and, okay? So, you can also have the text in there, pero you can more, uh, it's more on designing, okay? So, ayan siya, ma'am. It's more on the designing, okay? Then, the last, the, the, the last but not the least, but Again, there are so many other, okay? These are just few, okay? So, yung graphics program, okay? So, this actually let you draw and paint on your computer. Of course, how will you pour, how how will you not uh, recognize or remember paintbrush, okay? So, I need to cut the pictures. I need to enhance the the, the contrast, okay? Now, if you are into a much better uh, state that you can do editing, okay, you will acquire higher, okay, o yung mga latest ngayon, such as the Photoshop, ayan, yung mga kailangan natin na mas, ano, mas upgrade, okay? So, your item number two in your asynchronous is for you to familiarize yourself with the different available programs, okay? Yun naman po yun, ma'am, Okay? For a while. Okay, so yun yun po ma'am. You need to search of the different programs, examples, okay? So you need to identify different examples when it comes on uh, programs and versioning, no? You start with the system software, okay? The utility, the graphics, okay? And then afterwards, you will be having the application program, okay? I want you to be familiarized just the same with the devices, okay? What are those uh, past uh, uh, programs available in 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 terms of word processor, in terms of spreadsheet, because I just I I itemize few of those. Okay, here. So yun naman po yung gusto kong ma explore nyo. Okay, next. Uh, the people wear. Okay, so another another component. If you still remember to discuss, these are actually the human. Okay, that that actually interact. Okay, with the with the machine. Of course, even though you have the hardware devices, even though you have the softwares, if nobody will gonna use it, okay, intervene, okay, basically it will be non, uh, useless, okay. Uh, it will not function, it will not gonna work, okay. So I have in here some, okay, some of the some of the people wear or personnel 
who can actually use, okay? You don't need to be good. You don't need to be expert. As long as you know how to manipulate it, turn it on, use it, encode it, then you can be identified as peopleware, somebody that you can use the computer, okay? That, that can give data, which are the... <clears throat> which are the raw materials, okay, the, the thing that you need to feed to input in order for this computer to process. And the list is the objective in form of information, okay? This is the result, okay, or the output, okay, that you were waiting, okay? Now, again, go back to the people where it can be you as a student, it can be the security guard, it can be the teacher, it can be your grandma, as long as they know how to... How to use it, then you can be identified as the personnel or the people wear. Okay? And then, we also have here the procedure. Okay? The question in here in the procedure is that uh, uh, it is actually defined here is as the step-by-step -step instruction to be followed by a computer. Okay? To produce an output. Okay? So, uh, in our first example before, in a car, Okay, with the pull, pull tank gasoline and a driver, basically, it's not the outside but the internal step-by-step -step process. Okay, step-by-step -step process that that uh, machine is doing. Okay, if, if you also remember the ATM, okay, when you insert the card, okay, there is something happening at the back. Okay, and that is the procedure. Okay, like verification, checking, okay, that is happening. Okay, and examples of this given in our lectures are the manual, the system documentation, the policies, the disclaimer, or the business process that was actually uh, automated, okay, was converted into an automation. Okay, so yun yun, ma'am. Okay, so that actually completes our components of a computer system. Now, okay, given here the Ten Commandments of Ethics, Computer ethics, no? Parang Ten Commandments of, ano lang, no? Jesus Christ, ano? Okay. So, I have in here, thou shalt not use a computer to harm other people. Okay? So, let me let me give an example. Like, uh, if you will be using uh, the machine to, of course, to do crime, such as step, or uh, to get an uh, information that does not belong to you, okay? That is actually not good. Okay? That is actually a computer crime. Okay, because obviously, uh, hindi sa'yo yon. Okay, hindi proper. Okay, if that does not belong to you, then you're supposed not to. Like yung mga, yung mga usually uh, ginagawa nowadays no, sa FB. Okay, they were creating a new profile. They're using your pictures. Okay, tapos they will uh, ask money from your friends because they, they be, they'll, uh, tend to message yung mga circle of ano mo, circle of friends mo and then start communicating with them. Okay, so don't do that. That's actually wrong. Okay? Now, okay, on your third asynchronous okay, activity is for you to cite your own examples okay, based on your experience to make it unique for these 10 commandments of computer ethics. Okay? So, yun lang naman po yun. Okay? So, it can be a one or two, okay, or it's up to you kung saan mo siya ilalagay doon. Like, like, for example, on the port, thou shall not use a computer to steal. Magnakaw, magnakaw. It can be a record, it can be your information, or it can be a money matters. And how these things happening when it comes on computer, okay? Uh, example, Gcash. Can this be, ma'am? Can this be possible on this example? Yes, of course, because... Uh, obviously, uh, cell phone or Android is considered under technology, okay? It is a small machine, okay? Tapos, ma'am, there is a finance in there to Gcash application where other people was actually uh, lose some uh, money, okay? Yun, ma'am, nawawalan sila, nananakawan sila, hindi nila alam, okay? So, kaya, what I'm asking here for you now is for you to give your, or insight, give your example, Okay, based on your experience. Ayan. So, tatlo na yan, mama. Again, let us recall. The first one is for you to give a brief description on how the processor do things inside. Okay? Because as we as we discussed this, that the processor is just like actually the brain, the human brain. Okay? Where everything is actually processed. But within the brain, as what you 
uh, see, there is a memory, okay. There is coming from the input, there is coming from the output, okay, and so on and so forth, okay. And then the second one is for you to explore more, okay, identifying and acknowledging other uh, programs, no, under the system, ano po ba, saan po ba nag-start talaga si Windows? Ano po ba yung mga mobile applications, okay? Diba, it is still here, yung merong mga KitKat, Ginger, uh, gingerbread, okay, ganun eh, ganun siya, lollipop, okay, yung mga versioning nila, okay. So, at least, you will widen your uh, your uh, ideas about this, na, oo nga, no, si mobile pala, it was actually named to this dessert, okay. Samantalang si Windows, okay, there is a coming Windows 11, okay. So, yun naman yun eh, yung pag-acknowledge natin on, on what is the past and what is the present. Okay? And then the third one here is actually yung sa Ten Commandments. Okay? So, you just take your time to do it. Okay? Tapos, I'm gonna post again in our uh, Computer 101 Google Classroom, the uploading. Okay? And then I'll be giving instruction in there. And then all you need to do is for you to, uh, yeah, if it is done, okay, then all you need to do is just upload. Okay? And you don't need to worry because... Uh, even though I actually have placed a due date in there and time, okay, I did not lock it, okay? If cases are you are still not yet done, you still have the next week, it's fine with me, okay? Hindi naman po ganun kasri kasi it's a case-to-case -case basis. If you don't have internet right now or you don't have money to buy the 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 data, okay, wala naman pong problema, okay? Basta, I always remind you guys, if you have concern, you always let us know doon sa proper GC natin para it, it will be recorded or if there are some students who have the same issue, inquiry, okay, at least may sa kanila or, or kung magpapaalam ka, doon na lang din, you don't need to say, ma'am, I have a PM with you. Okay, in everyday kasi matatabunan yon madami ng madami. Okay, but dun sa ating um, uh, prescribed and legit GC, automatic makikita ko ayon merong concern yung anak ko sa REM1A. Okay, ma-attend ko kayo agad. Okay? So, thank you for listening and thank you for uh, staying there. I will just stop the recording first.